hey everyone this is Arif and today in this video I would be sharing with you some of the tips in order to pass the CIA exam these are testing and trial methods which uh, you can follow and uh, try to pass your exam in the first attempt this is a brief introduction about my career and uh, if you are interested in knowing me more you can pause this video and read it yourself just to give you an idea that I am a CIA instructor so any tip that I'm giving you is based on the experience and some of the success stories that I have seen that my students have um, have accomplished uh, in their CIA exams the first step is to familiarize yourself with the exam structure the content and the format it is very much important uh, many people they uh, they start their studies while focusing on the content or, or while focusing on the study material but before that the first thing is that you should be knowing that uh, how many mcqs comes from which part how many mcqs comes what is the percentage of different uh, sections of the study material um, which one are more important which were have a less weightages so in that aspect that you have to familiarize yourself uh, once you do that then things become easier because then accordingly you can plan uh, your your studies accordingly you can uh, focus on the areas which are which are of high percentage more and less on the the areas where there there will be few mcqs which will be coming so knowing the exam uh, knowing how uh, what is the weightages of different sections within the exam uh, and also knowing that how much time do you have for for attempting each MCQs or just in case if you want to keep some spare time to um, to come back to some of the uh, questions which you have already left these are all important aspects that you should be knowing before even starting your uh, uh, your uh, study sessions for the CIA exam so once you know the exam, the second thing is to watch the video content of the CIA course content. Um, it is very much important. Do not touch the study material before watching the videos. Uh, this is I'm telling you from experience because uh, it takes a lot to study the, the text. It's easier to just watch a 30 minutes video and understand the entire concepts and then go through the syllabus. Uh, it has two benefits. First, once when you you watch the video and and try to understand the content, uh, there might be some smaller uh, parts within the um, within the video which I mean th there might be certain concepts which were not uh, elaboratively explained, and that might be in, in the study text. So you know uh what is the high level concept and then you know what are the details of each concepts um i have uh, uh, produced the videos for cia part one part two and now i'm in the process of making videos part three um i will put the uh, the link of the videos in the description of uh, this video and uh, you can just go and just watch uh, a 30 minutes video for each unit before even starting the the studies of CIA uh, or the the course material on in, in the Glim books, um, I personally have found that it takes pretty much longer to understand the concept from the book because the books in itself is not very elaborative unless until you are using any other publisher. So it's easy and I try to keep things very simple and comprehensively cover the entire area. So watch the videos. Um, and it's, it's generally approximately 30 minutes per unit and there are I think seven units in part one nine units in part two and I don't know, maybe 13 or 14 in part three so 30 minutes and if you make it 1.5 on a speed of 1.5 or 2 I generally go for 1.5 and 2 uh, speed so you can finish in 15 20 minutes so it's a good deal you watch the videos and then you move to the uh, the study material the the the, the book of uh, CIA in itself so here is the third tip that uh, once you watch the videos go to the book read at least for once you have to read at least for once 
the entire book from cover to cover because there will be some concepts that um, or some topics very small topics that might not be um, covered in the video section because in the video I'm giving you a comprehensive overview of the entire uh, CIA unit or a chapter so the detail might be in the book so you can go through it um, and you ensure that at least you cover uh, cover to cover um, each unit of the CIA uh, study material uh, the average pages are 24 pages so the, it's, it's not very huge or lengthy so most probably you will be easily able to read even if you are a slow reader you can easily manage to finish in two hours with understanding of the study material once you have done that do not waste more time on reading again and again the same chapter uh, there might be a possibility that you feel now after reading once the book you feel overwhelmed and you think that it's still not enough and you have to go for the second or third time do not waste the, the time there go straight to the mcqs and this time when you go to the mcqs do not make it time bound do not pressurize yourself that you have to finish certain number of mcqs within that time like an exam mock exam just focus on the mcqs that you have to finish unit one mcqs after reading the text and uh, and read through the the explanations whenever you make any mistake read it that why your answer was wrong and why the other answer is correct you will learn more from the mcqs practice than from the book in itself and the good thing is in the cia software you can easily flip through to the same section of the book where the details are provided but even in that if that is not accessible to you if you're doing a hard copy mcqs still go to the relevant section of the places where still go to the relevant section of the places where you want it to uh, where, where where the 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 topic is being covered and read yourself and they go to the another mcqs and do the same thing it will overall slow down your progress but it will have a high level of retention so when you start thinking or reading critically then it, the chances are that you will be able to grasp the concept better and when it comes in the exam you will be able to answer it more effectively so this is important do not rush to answer and just flip through and go quickly without even contemplating on the answers or the on the wrong answer in the option and going for explanation uh, and try to cover the entire uh, mcq i think if one unit has a 130 mcq go for all you know because there is no rush there is no uh, anything uh, that that stops you for not doing practice because the more you do the practice the greater the chances of passing the exam so once you you cover uh, or did the entire mcqs then go for and mock and attempt a mixed mcqs mock exam for CIA part one there I think there are in the in the software also there are four uh, mock exams uh, I'm not so sure because I haven't gone through very in, in, in a very detailed manner but anyways make a mock exam and set an exam pressure and see how much you score the moment you start scoring 90 plus you can presume yourself to be ready for the exam and uh, there is a high likely that you will pass the exam in the first attempt the least you score in the mock exam most likely it will reflect the same in the in the actual exam as well the passing percentage generally is uh, 75 to 80 percent it's it's a different weightages sort of exam scoring method but generally you have to ensure that you you score 90 90 plus uh, in your mock exam and if you're not scoring that much you have to go back do again the practice and this is how you ensure that the higher at the higher percentage side you are uh, the more um, likely that you will be able to pass the CIE exam in, in first term so these are the five tips that you can follow for the CIE exams be it part one part two or part three uh, part one and part two is basically uh, 
part one is more theoretical and knowledge about the IPP of the internal audit standards and the key concepts, uh, the ethics part. Part two is more the practical application of the part one and in more uh, which, which gives you more idea of how the auditors do their day-to-day -day activities and part three is more of a generic in terms of uh, familiarizing yourself with the business topics uh, with IT information security and uh, accounting concepts so this is how the entire CIA syllabus is being bifurcated for the challenge exam they have combined all this into one exam that is a bit more challenging but again once you are well prepared then it's easy to pass the CI exam and with these five tips I wish you good luck and I hope that you will be able to pass your CI exam like me or and many other people in the first attempt.